Hi guys, welcome to week two of face painting tutorials presented by Glory Days Grill and their favorite face painting company, Mystical Smiles. So listen, we did a girl's design last time. This time we're going to go for a superhero look. So um, this isn't going to be a full face. Again, we're trying to make something simple that mom and dad can do at home to kind of keep the kids occupied. So we're going to do a Batman here on this side. And actually, this can also be done as a Spider-Man. You can create a... I'll explain to you in a minute. But we're going to start with Batman. You're going to need two three-quarter brushes and then two other brushes, either size four or five or three. I mean, I do these for outlines, so I like them thin. You always are going to dip the little bit of your brush in the water. Not a lot. Not going to get it oversaturated. And then you're going to pass it what we call loading in the industry, back and forth like this. So it gets loaded, so you don't have to keep going back to the paint. So we are going to do Batman. I like to do it in blue, like the Batman from the comic books, and it won't stay in face. You're gonna go above the eyebrow. Here's the forehead and the eyebrow. So you take this edge of your brush, you do a line that goes down. Then you leave an inch, and then you do another line. Okay, then you're going to do a C here, but leaving these little points up there because that becomes Batman's ears. Then you're going to do like a little triangle here. Not all the way down because his mask comes at his nose. You have to have room for that hero chin. So let's go over here. We're going to do an diagonal line. It all depends on the hairline of your kids and how much hair they have. It's okay if it gets in the hair. That's what bathtubs are for. Now you're going to do one big C on the outside. Take it all the way down to here. And I'm making this as simple as possible for you so you don't have to be Picasso. At the corner of this line, right on top of the eyebrow, you're going to do a C going towards the ear and out. A C going towards the ear and out. A C going towards the ear. Bring this little point. Excellent. So now you're going to fill it in. And again, this, this does not have to be perfect. You're, you're going to even see here, you know, I've got little streaks and stuff. And that's okay. You know, we're, we're all in lockdown. Um, things are just a little different, but this is actually going to make the kids day and it's going to bring a little more normalcy into it. All right. So now you have a cape. Now we have to have Batman's hero chin. You're going to do a slightly angular line, a slightly angular line. Don't take it all the way down because you need to level out the chin here. Good. Now, we can thicken these little ears a bit. Okay, perfect. So now, while that's drying, you're going to get that other little brush that I mentioned, and you're going to use black. And that's another reason why you don't want to make the Batman black, because then when you outline it, you won't see the outline. So you're going to go around the outside of these lines. It's important to tell your kids not to move and to keep their eyes closed while you are painting because whenever you're painting above the eye, I always make them close their eyes in a restaurant. Not because I'm going to do anything to them, but because if, and I'm not going to say it always happens, but if the paint drips and they have their eye open, where do you think the paint's going to go? In their eye. And then you're going to have all this drama and they're going to be like, ah, and you're going to be like, ah, and then there goes the fun. So you've outlined this. Now you're going to put a little line here to sort of signify his mouth. From these C's at their point, pull back, pull back. Now you're creating kind of like, oh, oh, I don't want to say a web because he's not Spider-Man, but dimension there. Now we go back and we take our other little brush and we use white. And we have now are gonna do a little angle stroke here 
a little angle stroke here. You don't even have to, again, we're not being real fancy in this. We want you to be able to do something really quick where you don't have to stress if it's right or not. You can shape the eyes any way that you want. If you want to put a little extra in there, you can put some highlights. So it starts to look more like a cartoon character. Now, your other three quarter brush, you're like, well, what do I need that for? I said, oh, I'm gonna show you what you need that for. Batman does not have a cell phone. Batman is major incognito. He doesn't want anybody to find out where he's at or hack him or anything like that. So the only way that he is called to help is by his special yellow light that Commissioner Gordon has. And that's what we're creating here in the background. You know, or if you have the time and you want to get fancier, you can just do a circle like this by him instead of that and actually hand paint um, a little black bat in there. But if you really don't want to go through that, this is just as fine. It's a lot faster. Now, if you're not fussy about them having glitter, I like to put a little glitter on here because after all, this is a superhero and they deserve it for all the hard work. I, if I could, I would go over to the medical personnel and slather them with glitter because they're all superheroes right now. And there you go. Now you have your Batman. And this design can be put on the arm as well. And to remove it, you just use a baby wipe or makeup wipe. So tune in again next week. We're going to have another design. And Glory Days really wants you to know that we miss you. We can't wait till things get back to normal so we can come in again and have family face painting nights. But till then, you don't have to miss out on that amazing food because you can order out and go pick it up. All right, thanks again. Have a good day.